Hi, my name is Will Lehman, and I'm here to talk to you about the introduction to HEC Watt. HEC Watt's mission is to provide a tool to integrate existing engineering and consequences tools into a watershed uh, based analysis that supports risk analysis to meet objectives associated with the, the guidance in uh, USACE policies and requirements. Our goals are to provide an excellent user experience, to find innovative solutions to complex problems. Um, we wanna make sure that the walk gets out there and is used by practitioners in their daily work. Uh, really, we just want to make sure that we are increasing the combined capabilities of all of our tools together. We do that through a few different tools. One is this plugin architecture. The plugin architecture defines an API, an application programming interface to bring in an existing software piece and to be able to make it runnable in a standard platform. So we provide plugins to bring in our standard HEC tools into a common framework to be able to run them in sequence, linking them together. Through that, what we do is we run our tools sequentially and we let them do what they do great, right? So our tools already provide a systems-based approach independently within their geospatial domains. What the Watt allows them to do is to work in concert across the different hydrologic processes from rain in the clouds all the way down to water on people so that we can bring those together to be able to model them um, as a sequence um, across the entire watershed. We do this in a nested Monte Carlo, which allows us to run events that span from the zero year event all the way out to the thousand year event or higher, whatever the user would like to specify. And we run those in, a, uh, we call that the natural variability loop. So that's uh, what's the likelihood of flooding next year. We sample across that domain. We then also run that in realization. So we run many of those to describe uncertainty around that relationship. So this is like the uncertainty in EAD or the uncertainty in AEP. We run realizations as a secondary loop, um, an outer loop for our, our analysis. That gives us the ability to produce the very important metrics that are in our guidance. Um, so that's a really high level view of what HEC Watt is. I wanted to keep a video short, so here it is. Thanks a lot.